Hi, Michael Brenhold here from Go Engineer. We want to take a little time with you today and have an armchair tech talk to share some information about using your 3D printer. I know that a lot of people uh, recently are getting excited about color in their 3D printers. Some of them have it as an option, especially on their polyjets, uh, and others would like to have it. One of the things we want to share with you today is an armchair tech talk idea about dyeing parts. That you can add color to a part simply by using a RIT dye found in most supermarkets to take a clear part and turn it into a colored part. So what we'd like to show you today is just some samples about how this actually works. In the case of a clear part, you can take something clear, like this chess set piece, the original clear transferred in with RIT dye to turn out black. The longer you leave a part in, the richer the color will transform through the clear part and into uh, the dye piece upon completion. Now, how does this actually work? When you're working with polyjet parts, the support material actually makes a slight indentation into the side wall of the piece. And that little indentation creates just enough of an impurity area on the part where the dye will settle into and basically impregnate itself into the actual part, giving you the chance to have a rich color. Now, the difference to that is if you make something in a glossy mode. Now, this frog, for example, was done in glossy. You can see right down the side of his profile of his face, there's a support base where the support touches the bottom and the dye will be able to uh, penetrate into that portion of the piece. But on the top, where he's glossy, you see that the dye does not stick or adhere at all to the glossy surface. So what happens is the light diffuses through the blue and creates a blue frog. So what we're going to do today is, I'm chatting here with you quickly, is just to prove that we're not actually running a magic trick. I'm going to take this little base to a Christmas tree that I ran, drop it in this little filter, and we're going to plop it into our red dye. Pop on in there. We'll let that sit for a few moments. Again, the longer we leave a part in the dye, the better chance we have of it actually soaking up that dye into those slight little imperfections, if you will, on the side of the part, allowing the part to actually absorb that dye and turn colors. Why did this all get started? Well, as we were going beyond in 2019 into 2020 with Go Engineer, uh, we sat around and wanted to make some Christmas trees. Uh, so what we wanted to end up doing was create an object that looked like this. Now this part was made out of red, green, and brown dyes, but started out looking like this. This is just a part we found off of Thingiverse, very simple little piece. Uh, we made the parts uh, using our 705 support structure. Interestingly enough, the 706 and 707 soluble supports will work for this process, but the 705 actually creates a little bit of a deeper impurity on the side of the part and gives you a better dyed effect if you're actually going to want to add dye and color to a part. So the whole concept was started around making a Christmas tree and having discussions with fellow team members about how can you add color to a polyjet part if you don't have a colored system. That's where this all began. We wanted to share this information with you to give you an idea about how you can do this with your polyjet system. And in just a matter of moments here, you can see that even this has only been in there for probably not less than a minute, it's already changed colors to a red. And again, the longer I leave it in, the richer the part will become. So, tech idea, adding color to polyjet parts. How can you do that? Simple as going to the grocery store, purchasing some RIT dye, putting it into a cup, adding your clear parts to it. Interestingly enough, you can do this with the 720, you can also do it with the uh, with white parts made off of a polyjet. Anything that uses that 705 support will allow for this dye to actually start to penetrate in and add color to those parts. So yeah, started out with a Christmas tree idea. Wanted to take a clear part, turn it into a Christmas tree ornament for around the office, adding a lot of color and pop at a very, very simple cost. So that's our tech tip for the day. So, yeah, some of you may state to us, well, you know, it's a little late for the Christmas tree idea, but, you know, just like the whole spirit of Christmas should last throughout the whole year, ah, as does the same idea for dying parts. You can use this throughout the year. So that's our tech talk for the day. If you'd like some more information about this or any other ideas, please feel free to reach out to GoEngineer.com. Look us up on the website. Someone will be there to happily answer your questions and talk you through this and other ideas. Thanks for your time today. Bye.